So I've got a hold of this document from AOTech. I'll put that over on the side here so we can see it. And this is their smart energy switch. I think it also applies to the dimmer. These are the same parameters. And what they show you here are the parameter numbers. Some of the interesting ones here are 91 and it says the value here represents minimum change in wattage for a report to be sent. Default is 50 watts and then there's also a percentage change which it says the default is 10 percent but if you're going to use this device for instance with a 10 watt LED bulb if it's not going to report anything less than 50 watts, you won't know if your LED bulb is taking any power or not. And what you really want to do is go in here to device options. And so I want to do 90, 91, and 92. What I want to do is, let's see, let's do one more. So I want to do three. So I've got to do 90, I'm just going to do monitor only so I can see what's there. So I've said I want to monitor 90, 91, and 92. So save changes. And then usually what you have to do, let's see, oh it is, you can see up at the top here it says please wait. And my controller is restarting. Hopefully it'll say configuring Z-Wave devices. There you go, Z-Wave, configuring Z-Wave devices. So let's go back here, we'll go to device options. Okay, it hasn't uh, got to these yet. I've defined these in the controller, but you've got to get that information over to the device and back. So I don't think I've done that yet, so I need to go here, advance, commands, and I'll have to do that one. So let's see. And here's the status for that configuration. Yeah, unable to get any information. What I'm gonna do is, let's do a poll. Yeah, so error node not configured because it's it hasn't updated that data yet. So let's try this again. Yeah, configure right now. I'm just, there we go. Setting user configuration. This is the one you want to see because I'm trying to change the default settings. Let's go see if those show up yet. Oh, okay, so now we've got success here. There you go. It says number 90 enables automatic notifications, whether there's a state change. Zero is nothing, one is hail, and two is basic. 91 as default 50 watts and default 10 percent and if we look there so the default is no reporting and 50 watts and 10 percent power change go here and we'll make that one byte decimal two byte decimal and one byte decimal and what we'll try is let's make that a one we'll make this maybe 10 watts and yeah 10 percent is probably pretty good a 10 watt bulb it should report that the bulb is on and now it says up here it should go back and try to configure the device so here we go setting user configuration if it goes through that again configuring z-wave devices and then what i like to do here is I like to go back to the device options and then this is what I wanted and now the current value that's changed from 0 to 1, that's changed from 50 down to 10, and that's remained at 10. So that looks like success. So now if I slide that down, let's see if that number changes. 